Tony Mormino here, and today we're going to talk about return fans versus exhaust fans. Very common question. I'm going to share my experience with that, and if you have a different experience or have anything to add, please join the conversation in the comments. So what you're looking at here is a typical return fan chill water air handling unit, okay? So what you've got is your return duct here. You've got, in this case, two return fans. Your return fan plenum. This would be your exhaust air section. So we'll go ahead and put a exhaust air here. This would be your return air damper. We'll call that a rad. And this would be your outdoor air damper here. Pre-filter. Obviously that could be a filter bank with bigger filters. Hot water, preheat coil, chill water, cooling coil, and then your two supply fans and your supply fan plenum going out to the building. So this is what is called a typical return air economizer, 100% economizer arrangement. So what happens is, in general operation, let's say you have 20% outside air, your outside air is coming in here, okay? Mixing with your return air, and your exhaust air is going out here. Okay, so as you can imagine, the air is coming back here, being pulled by the return air fans. This is a positively pressurized section. So as you close off the return air damper, you're forcing some of the air to go out to the exhaust. And what's happening here is you have a negative section, right? Because the air is being pulled by the supply fans here. So that will pull air from the outside air and from the return. So that's a standard operating procedure for this type of equipment, 20% outside air-ish or whatever. So the great thing about this is when you have an economizer section, well, when you have an economizer scenario, let's say you have 55 degrees outside, it's beautiful, low dew point day, what you can do is close this return air damper, okay, just close this off and bring in 100% outside air and the exhaust, 100%-ish, you know, you wanna keep the building positively pressurized, but you get, you get the gist there. So this will be completely closed off in that scenario. So all of your return air would be coming up through here, going out the exhaust, and 100% outside air would be coming through here through your supply down in the building. So when would you use this? So my experience with these types of systems is generally they're high static pressure systems. You want to control building pressure. If you have more than two stories, you probably should consider a return fan because it's really hard for the supply fan to get the air back to the, to the unit in those scenarios. Um, the other area you might use it is uh, if you have a large DX unit, we're talking about chill water units here. So large chill water air handlers, over 100 ton DX units, those are the times I've used these. A lot of static pressure also allows you to break up the, the fan brake horsepower into two different banks, which is nice. Because you can imagine if you had a 20,000 CFM unit and you have 12 inch filters in here, you know, and it's a five story building, you could imagine how much static pressure you're getting built up in that system. So it's nice to break up the uh, fan horsepower into smaller increments. It's easier for maintenance and it's more efficient when you do that. So let's see, we talked about building pressure, we talked about efficiency, we talked about economizer. Now, what does it look like with an exhaust fan, which is much more common? So we do a lot of exhaust fans. So I'm gonna go ahead and move this duct. I will erase it. I didn't wanna have to redraw it, but I'm gonna do that. Okay, so there, and I'm gonna draw a return air duct here, okay? And we're gonna move this damper. We're gonna close this off and move the damper over here, just because it's in the wrong position to, for this example. And there are numerous ways to do this, so, you know, everybody has a different way to do stuff like this, so comment if you have a different opinion or a different scenario. Uh, so basically what would happen here is your your return air is coming up from the building into here, and these fans are just blowing the air out of the exhaust. So they're just blowing it out here, right? So really they're handling the static pressure just from here out, okay? They're very low static pressure typically, sometimes they're even prop fans. The air is getting back to here from the supply fan, okay? So the supply fan's carrying the whole load with the static pressure, and you're just pulling some of this from the return plenum as your exhaust, okay? And then you would have your outside air coming in here 
as before, let's say you had 20% outside air. So that would kind of be a normal operation. So one of the challenges or one of the things to be concerned with is if you're going to do 100% economizing, make sure that these fans are designed for 100%. A lot of times when we're selecting package DX equipment, we might be selecting a 5,000 CFM unit with 20% outdoor air, right? And usually the exhaust fans are only sized to handle that full design outside air. So if you want 100% economizer scenario, make sure that this, in that scenario, these fans would be sized for 5,000 CFM, and they'd also be sized to pull the air back, you know, through the return air duct, because this damper would be shut, you'd be pulling 100% outdoor air, and then this would be, this would be wide open. Okay, so that's the difference between the return air fans and exhaust fans.